From the shocking moment a family barely escaped being swept away by a massive landslide in Turkey, to an incredible video of a powerful EF3 tornado nearly destroying a city hall in Kansas. Here are five natural disasters that were caught on CCTV cameras. Rise Turkey is a city full of ancient history. The Greeks used it as an essential Black Sea trading post in the 6th century BC, but it eventually fell into Roman and Byzantine hands as history unfolded. Today, Rise is a wealthy coastal city built on a narrow strip of land between the water and the mountains. Wealth gaps separate those who live in the city from those in the mountains. In mid-July of 2021, heavy rain triggered severe landslides in the mountain regions, laying waste to the vulnerable villages below. CCTV footage captured the terrifying moment when one family barely escaped with their lives. The video starts with a woman casually walking out from one side of the home to meet up with people on the other. Clearly, she had no idea what was coming. We assume there'd be a little bit more pep in her step if she did. And while the video has no audio, these people must have heard the incoming landslide. Imagine not seeing it coming only to watch it destroy the house you occupied seconds before. Sadly, the landslides claimed six lives throughout the Rize province, and two more people went missing. The Turkish president pledged 5 million liras, or about half a million US dollars, to fund the relief effort, but the Turkish people would need much more. Heavy rains never let up and continued through the end of July, causing more floods in northeastern Turkey. Things didn't get any better in August, as rising water in the Black Sea sparked the worst floods in Turkish history. Bondo is a tiny Swiss village on the Swiss-Italian border. With only 204 people living there as of 2008, Bondo is one of those places where everyone knows everyone, and it's been that way since the turn of the 19th century. In August of 2017, a massive mudslide ripped through the village, sliding down Mount Pise saint gallo and causing millions of dollars in damages to homes and businesses. CCTV footage outside a carpentry shop captured the moment when the mudslide erased the entire company. Sadly, there is no audio, but we'll still let the footage play for you to experience it in real time. Nothing stands in the way of the mud. It moves cars, giant pieces of steel, and pallets of wood that must weigh hundreds if not thousands of pounds. Eventually, the mud washes everything away, leaving us with a steady river of thick gray sludge to look at. Another angle captures the mud carrying a massive steel cylinder like it's nothing. Finally, we see how powerful the mudslide is as it deletes the entire shop in about 90 seconds. Estimates say the mudslide contained 4 million cubic meters of mud and rock. According to the BBC, about 100 people, or half the population, evacuated as the mudslide approached, and eight hikers went missing. The region is historically susceptible to landslides occurring whenever water overflows from the Alpine lakes. Many nearby communities constructed barriers for protection. Meanwhile, warning sirens do a good job of keeping people in the loop. Somehow, the 2017 mudslide took Bondo by complete surprise. Switzerland invested over $12 million into the recovery effort. Hopefully, they spent some of it on a giant anti-mud wall.
Andover, Kansas is a Wichita suburb with just under 15,000 people. It's a close-knit community brought even closer by a devastating tornado in the spring of 2022. On April 29th, an EF3 tornado struck just outside City Hall. Security camera footage captured the tornado forming in the sky and eventually touching the ground. It traveled 12 and a half miles over 21 minutes, causing extensive damage to a YMCA and several other buildings. For the most part, City Hall got away without a scratch. We see the twister forming in the clouds about halfway through the footage. It finally touches down and makes its way over the tree line before passing across the stage at the Capitol Federal Amphitheater. While the winds aren't strong enough to lift cars or cause structural damage, they can still rip apart trees and almost pull the flags clean off of poles. Finally, the storm moves on, continuing on its path of destruction through Andover. Thankfully, the Andover tornado didn't claim any lives. But it reminded people, like Fire Chief Chad Russell, of the 1991 EF5 tornado that took 17 people with it. According to the chief, more than 950 buildings sat in the storm's path. Of them, between 50 and 100 sustained severe damage. On Friday, April 22nd of 2011, a powerful EF4 tornado touched down in the St. Louis, Missouri metropolitan area. Good Catholics were preparing for Easter Sunday when 170 mile per hour winds ruined their weekend plans. They indeed felt the wrath of God that day, as the Good Friday tornado was the strongest to hit St. Louis since 1967. Along its 21-mile journey, the tornado made a pit stop at Lambert International, the largest airport in the state. Security camera footage on the inside caught the moment when the storm caused EF2-level damage to Concourse C, closing the airport for 24 hours. People inside could feel the storm coming as they look up towards the ceiling and seek cover in a nearby bathroom. It looks like a trio of either pilots or TSA agents barely make it into the bathroom before the storm passes. One guy literally puts the brake on like a cartoon character before making a hard left into the men's room. Needless to say, everyone's flight was cancelled. Miraculously, nobody lost their lives in the Good Friday tornado. A handful of people had some injuries to deal with, and half the glass in Terminal 1 shattered in the storm. There were about 500 people in the airport when the tornado hit, and paramedics only took four of them to the hospital, where they were treated and released. Lambert International suffered $25 million worth of damage that day, but reopened at 70% capacity for Easter Sunday. Talk about a miracle, huh? Then, two years later, a pair of tornadoes hit Lambert on the same night. They may have caused less damage this time, but it sounds like Mother Nature's got a bone to pick with St. Louis travelers. Tupelo is the sixth largest city in Mississippi, acting as the industrial, commercial, and cultural hub in the Northern Magnolia State. The city's history is rooted in music. As the birthplace of Elvis Presley, tourists flock to see the city that raised the king. Unfortunately, Mother Nature doesn't seem to be a big Elvis fan, as residents learned firsthand in the spring of 2014. In April of that year, an EF3 tornado tore through Tupelo for 38 terrifying minutes. At one point, it crossed paths with St. Luke's United Methodist Church, and security camera footage watched it rip apart the playground nearby.
The storm knocks the color clean out of the picture. It takes a little while, but the tornado eventually passes by the playground, knocking over trees and sending debris flying in every direction. Amazingly, the camera stayed intact, but the same can't be said for the rest of the equipment. It's hard to see with rain pelting the lens, but you can watch the tall trees fly past in the distance, showing how powerful the storm truly was. Once it was done at St. Luke's, the storm continued on its 31-mile path. 150-mile-per-hour winds destroyed 300 homes and businesses and claimed one life. But this storm was only part of a broader system that wreaked havoc across the East Coast and Central U.S. Tornadoes touched down in the Carolinas, and Mississippi recorded 22 more storms that same day. The spring of 2013 was a bad time to be a school in Illinois. Historic floodwaters from the Illinois River topped 70-year records, damaging 200 homes and buildings. Marseille, a river town in LaSalle country, took the brunt of the damage when a levee broke on the Illinois. CCTV footage inside an elementary school captured the moment when river water surged through the front doors and flooded the entire first level. The water continued into the basement, rendering the whole school unusable for the rest of the year. Do not mess with water, especially raging river rapids with no plans of stopping. We see a small pool forming in the atrium, but the rapids rip the door off their hinges and flood the entire lobby. The water quickly carries the front desk away and makes its way through the first floor and basement. The damaged school displaced 600 students who had to use churches, an old high school, and a different elementary school to finish the year. As for the school, parents, teachers, and students had to wait until next September. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.